Oh, hey, it's you. Oh, is my fan gonna be loud? Turn the shit off. Oh, hey, it's you. You've made it over to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're from TikTok, hey. If you're not from TikTok, then let me fill you in on a few things, okay? If you didn't know, which you should know, and if you don't, I honestly like, feel bad for you. Like, um, I, <laughs> I'm so humble, it's hard to say this. I've recently, how do I say it? I've gotten into some TikTok fame recently, okay? My, I posted, okay, I posted this video, like honestly to be real, about like a month ago today, I posted this video and it literally has 7 million views now. Bitch, what? And it has like over a million likes. So it's been, my head is very, very big right now. I'm feeling very egotistical. Um, I'm feeling on top of the world, truly. Um, and then I post a few other vids and here I am, I have 50K followers on TikTok, a little over 50K. Um, I also have an account warning, but um, we're not gonna talk about that, okay? We're not gonna talk about that. They, they think that I am underage um, and I never wear clothes. So put the two together, I have an account warning. Everyone was like, oh my God, Taylor, please make YouTube videos. Actually, literally, maybe, possibly no one, possibly negative one people said that, but <laughs> you know me, you know me. Here I am, bitch, okay? Here, I'll take off the sunglasses. The bit's over, okay? Um, what was I even gonna show today? Oh my God, so I wanted to just kind of make a little vlog for you guys on my weekend, because it's a three-day weekend, and you guys know, I don't do shit on the weekends. I get fucking bored, I get fucking depressed, I cry on the weekends. I'm just being real. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. You ain't got, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Mm, eh, bitch. Yeah, I might, I might. Um, so I have nothing else to do but do this for you. You're welcome, you're welcome. But I already showed some of my TikTok if you don't know. Bitch, if you're not from TikTok, go fucking follow me on TikTok right now. Um, and also subscribe. If you're from TikTok, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. She's a singer. Um, what was I saying? Whole Foods haul. Okay, if you don't know, I post my weekly Whole Foods hauls on TikTok. You guys love them. You guys are living for them. We're living for them. But I'm gonna just show you guys on here because why the fuck that? I can do whatever the fuck I want. That's why. Don't question the why. Um, so here we go. <laughs> this is what I fucking do on a Saturday night. Yesterday, Friday night, I go to Whole Foods and eat plantain chips and a bag of fucking peanut M&Ms. And today I do this. I'm giving a Whole Foods haul to my YouTube channel. It's truly sad. Anyways, let me show you what I got. Eh, eh, and I'm not talking about back there, I'm talking about in the fridge. Why would you think that? Um, okay, so first I got this kombucha. They ran out of my favorite kombucha at Whole Foods. Get it back in stock now. Well, whatever, I got this one. It's like, doesn't taste that good. But my favorite is the Island Mango by Brew Doctor. Holy shit, it's busting. It really gets me drunk. Um, and then you guys, this stuff is so good. I, I love having like little sparkling water. I have some lime, La Croix. But then I got this too. This stuff is so good. It's like the Spindrift. It's um, sparkling tea with lemon. It's like literally the most young classic thing. Like after work, you crack one of these open on the couch with your Squishmallow and your Target blanket and you just fucking live. You just live life. I'm just living life. And then you guys know on TikTok, you guys love the fruit of the week. Oh, it's been such an iconic thing. <laughs> But I have some pineapple that I cut up this morning. I very humbly cut it up. And that's my weekend for the week. So Saturday and Sunday mornings, I eat that. I love being on YouTube because I can just talk. Like TikTok, it's like three minutes. I'm like stressed out about talking because I never shut this talk up. So on YouTube, I can just talk and talk and talk. And it doesn't matter. Oh, I just feel so much relief right now that I can do that. And then the motherfucking star of the show, baby. Red grapes, the fruit of the week for the week week, actually, which is a short week because it's Labor Day weekend, so I only have four days. So then do it for four days. That's kind of the slide. Um, and then I have some lemons for my lemon green tea that I make in the morning before the gym. And then I have a green apple. If you know, you know. What's it for? If you know, if you know. My motherfucking tuna salad recipe that I made up myself. No, 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 no. It's not, it is not a recipe that I looked up online. It is not. I made up this tuna salad recipe myself. All me. So give credit where credit is due. But we're gonna make this a little bit later in the vlog. Maybe for dinner tonight? Maybe? Oh, what, what? All I fucking had today, guys, literally I had, I had my pineapple when I woke up. I had like 17 cups of coffee. I had a kombucha. I had an entire container of plantain chips and half of the bag, the rest of the bag on my peanut butter m &Ms. That's what I fucking eat today. Like, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna wither away and die like from malnutrition. Okay, and then you guys, oh baby, I. <laughs> okay, now that my fridge is done being rude, I got two of these bad boys double fisting up in this hoe, okay? Um, 
um, two of these because I this is my favorite cold brew coffee. La Colombia, I love you so much. They actually commented on my TikTok. I peed my pants a little. I did. I peed. I did. I don't care. I'll admit it. Um, oh my god, I got this barbecue sauce. Look at the packaging. It's like a bag. <laughs> I just like, I fucking love this. I literally, everything needs to be packaged like this. I don't, I don't care. I want to see this. It's 2022. I want to see everything packaged like this. Please, God. Okay. And then I have some mayo. Shout out to all my mayo haters. For my tuna salad, baby. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. And then, oh my God, this is scandal. No, this is not a scandal. This is awesome scandal. This is life changing. Carrot chips, bitch. Okay, like, don't ever buy a baby carrot again. Baby carrots are so out, I can't even stand them anymore. After I had these carrots, just my life has forever changed. These are so fucking good. A little after work carrot chip. Don't fucking start with me. Don't start with me, don't, just don't. Buy those, now. Oh, my freezer, I always forget about the freezer. That's like the best part, it like, has all the goodies in it. I'm not talking about you guys. No, okay. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Okay, so I'm TikTok. I'm not gonna talk, but it's boring as shit. Okay, I'm TikTok. So these are my new thing turkey fucking burgers, or as I call them, like turkey nuggets or something. What did I call them? Like when I chop them up and make little nuggets, and I put it with mayo, ketchup, sriracha, and like this other weird sauce thing that I have. And I dip. I'm a big, I love condiments. Okay, grow the fuck up if you don't like condiments. And I eat these for dinner, 22, or, oh, it's only 20, 20 grams of protein in this. After work, if you see me looking thick, but these are so good, a little after work snack. I eat these after work, and usually like popcorn or like some type of snacky snack, and then the baby carrots, or the, not baby carrots, carrot chips. And it's so good, and healthy queen. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, you guys. And then, okay, 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 you guys. Pizza of the week. If you don't know, I have a pizza of the week on my TikTok, okay? Um, and this week, okay, I'm doing a repeat, like a rerun of the pizza of the week because this one was just, it's just so delicious. And if most of you haven't heard my scandal and like my spiel about how I think inflation is over because, dude, the Whole Foods brand pizzas used to be $8.99, whatever, like nine bucks, whatever. And then I go there last week $5.49. I was like, it wasn't like sale, like on sale, whatever, $5.49. Just $5.49, all of them. All the Whole Food brand. And I was like, how did they just drop in price like what, $3.50? Like randomly? I'm like, oh my god, the economy is healed. Like, so I got this. This is a chicken barbecue or barbecue chicken. Like, this shit is so good. $5.49 now, guys. Run and get this! It is so good. I get a pizza every weekend that I eat usually on like Saturday or Sunday and I love this one so much. I love you Whole Foods. I love you. Okay, last thing in the freezer. My little treat after work, so after my little, my little turkey burger, carrot chip, popcorn, snack, dinner that I have after work. I get a little ice cream sandwich. Dairy free, because dairy gives me raging acne. So it is dairy free. Um, these are just like, you know, obviously like what, a little treat. It's a little treat o'clock. What do they say on TikTok? I don't know. That's what I do. These are good. I don't know. They're like, okay. I wish I had, they don't really have that many like ice cream. Like I don't want an ice cream. I want like an ice cream novelty, which is what those are. And they don't really have that many good ice cream novelties at Whole Foods. I do just wish that they had like more dairy free ice cream stuff. Anyways. Into the cabinet now. Let's just be honest. Now that song is stuck in my head. Okay, what do I have in here? Oh my god, I tried these. This is the popcorn they're usually. No, actually, I'm not even. Gonna, this was overpriced. I got scammed. I didn't get scammed. I'm not even gonna try it. No advertising. No free advertising here, bitch. I'm trying these these week. Purple carrot. Like that's just the cutest thing I've ever. It's not like a band name. Purple carrot. It sounds like a company name. A marketing agency. Purple carrot. I just really like it. And then butternut squash crackers. Parmesan. Like butternut, I fucking love butternut squash. I just, these just make me so happy. I haven't tried them yet, but I'll probably review them on TikTok. But those are so fantastic. And then you guys, I will be having a spiel right now. Hold on, give me, hold the fucking mic for a second. These are my, I'll, okay, I'll show these fine. 
Even these are my favorite. Okay, so I get a bunch of different, my, I love picking out like new protein bars, like every single week. Um, and I found some big favorites, but these ones, the Go Macro ones, they're like average. I tried some new, usually I get the Protein Pleasure one, but this week I got the Sweet Awakening. Oh, mocha chocolate chip and the Everlasting Joy. I need that with coconut almond butter and chocolate chips. So I tried those, I usually get the Protein Pleasure and it's like okay, but they don't hurt my stomach. So that's what I like about them because a lot of protein bars like obviously hurt my stomach. Um, so that's why I get those. But then I got some fun ones. These are literally, these are so fucking good. These ones, s'more flavor, literally tastes like a fucking marshmallow. It is so good. And then this one, Aloha, it's um, coconut chocolate almond. It's amazing. It's delicious. And this one's vegan. Both of these are um, vegan and then these ones aren't. But these are the protein bars I got for this week. And those are my faves. Th these ones and then this one are my faves ever so i had to tell you guys i had to put you guys on because honestly like finding a good protein bar can be like very difficult you know like trial and error and everything look at my aesthetic ass like look at my little aesthetic bib it's such a vibe and then you guys i don't care i got some tuna fish in the packets because if you didn't know don't buy the tuna in the cans unless you have a can opener unless you want to be like me last week when i was stabbing a knife into my three tuna cans trying to get them open because I did not have a can opener. And I didn't realize that not all cans have the fucking pull tab. Like, come on, it's 2022. Can we, can we do something about this? So, tune up for my tuna salad. I don't care if you don't like tuna. I do. And I'm gonna talk about it all I want. Um, that's really it. Is that all? Yeah. Oh my God, the story of the motherfucking show. Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. I like these spaghetti squashes because they were smaller. Cause usually they're like double the size of this and these are so hard to cut. And you guys know, I have a fear of cutting round objects due to when I almost cut my finger off cutting a cantaloupe. So I'm very happy these are smaller because then I can cut them easier and they'll cook faster and they're just so cute. And I love spaghetti squash. It's such a good like dinner, quick, easy dinner option. And it's so cheap too. It's literally like, I don't know, like a few dollars for this. and it's Forking delicious. It's just scrumptious. So that's my whole food haul. <laughs> I hope you liked it. And then I actually just shared this on TikTok, but I'm gonna show you guys here too because I think it's like such a good tip. I don't want anyone to miss out on it. So I get bloated. You guys know from my last video, I showed you guys how I meal prep like for a low FODMAP diet, right? Is the camera like not okay? Um, it needs to just go down a bit. Um, um, I showed you how I meal prep for a low FODMAP diet so I don't get bloated, and that has been working literally so well for me like i have not been bloated for right now like i haven't been like severely bloated in like a couple months and i've been really really good for like the past two weeks i'm just like getting better at and like learning more and more each week um and what i've been doing it's helped a lot i have started taking like some certain supplements so it's like what i'm eating and the supplements as well which i'm going to show you guys but i scientific method this shit like i trialed and errored it like i've tried it multiple times and it's worked every single time for when I'm bloated. Um, but I've been taking these papaya enzymes for digestive support. And these are just from Whole Foods. They were pretty inexpensive and you get like a lot in there for what it is. Um, I've been taking these every night before I go to sleep. And they basically just help break down the food in your stomach and just help it digest better. And I, since I've been taking those consistently every night, you take four, they're just like chewables. They obviously taste like really, really good. They're like really yummy actually. Um, I've been taking four of those every single night. I have not been bloated. I I can't even believe I'm saying this. Like, I have not been bloated in, like, two weeks. It, like, straight. Like, sh like, no days I've missed that I've been bloated for, like... It's, like, obviously, you know, if I eat a big meal or if I have a sparkling water, I'll get a little bloated, you know? But not, like, that severe, like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant. I can't fit into my pants. I can't suck in. I can't breathe. Like, acid reflux. Like, that's the kind of bloating I would get. I have not been that bloated. Obviously, my diet changes too um, have helped, but when I was just doing my diet changes, I would still get bloated sometimes. But this stuff, like if I take it every night, literally it's been so good. And then if I have any like kind of like flare ups in there, I'll take Tums. Like sometimes in the morning after I drink coffee or something, I'll feel a little weird. I'll take Tums. That has been really great. I'll just take two. It says you can take up to four, but I'm like that person who like, doesn't like to take medication and stuff. So like, I like get nervous about taking it. So I just take two of these and that helps me so much, seriously. And then, 
um actually like literally an hour ago i so i ate i would show you in the hall when i got my plantain chips you guys are from tiktok you know i have an obsession with plantain chips and i ate both bags of plantain chips that i got from whole foods yesterday night they're already gone both bags so i ate a lot of plantain chips and then i also bought those peanut butter m ms and i ate those too um, so I was feeling like I was not feeling, but I, you know, I knew it was coming. It's nice now that I know my trigger foods. Like that's like literally like the best like feeling ever is like being like, okay, if I eat this, I know I'm going to feel like shit. And if I eat this, I know I'm going to feel good. Like, it's just like the best to finally know what triggers me and what's wrong with me. Like when I found the low FODMAP diet. So when I ate the plantain chips and when I ate the M&Ms, obviously I knew that I wasn't going to feel the best, but I ate the plantain chips and the M&Ms earlier today and I did not feel good at all. Like my mood went down, my energy went down. I could not suck in my stomach. I was having acid reflux. I was feeling super bloated, like retaining water. I don't know what, just you, you know, that feeling when you just feel awful. And I took, I've trialed and aired this multiple times, okay? But today was the day where I was like, okay, this fucking works. Um, I took four of these, which is the serving size. And then I took two Toms together. I drank some water and I went and like laid down for like 30 minutes. Like, literally it, it went away. My bloating like went away. So this is my hack for you guys. If you have like stomach problems and you follow a low FODMAP diet or like you've ever have like acid reflux, like I feel like my bloating is mostly like acidity. Um, and it's like long term. It's like, it'll last for like three days if I don't do anything about it, which it just sucks. Like I'm not talking about bloating like, Oh, if you ate a big meal and you're obviously like full or like if you drink like alcohol or like a sparkling water and you're like bloated because of the bubbles like not like that kind of bloating it's like actual like acidic like bloating and like acid reflux that's what i found that helps me so i want to share that with you guys um because i literally i can't believe because i felt like shit earlier and now i literally i'm just like back to normal i took that and 30 minutes later and so this stuff is just gonna make me feel so good so I want to share with you guys. It's actually, I love it. It's, it's been great. So I, I literally just feel so happy that I finally, I, I've been through so much with like my gut health and bloating and stuff. Like I would literally like cry almost every day about it. Like it was all I thought about every day. Cause I just felt like, I was like, I work out and I, I work out every day. I eat healthy every day. And I'm still like, you know, my stomach is just huge. And cause I was bloated and it's just literally, it was, it was off. I would cry almost every day about it. Cause I just felt like shit. And I finally figured out what works for me. And I'm literally just so happy. And it's like, I don't even want to eat like junk food that much anymore because I just know like, it's not even about like, you know, my weight and like being skinny or whatever. It's literally like, I will feel like shit. And I love feeling like good. Like when you're bloated, I don't know, at least for me, when I'm bloated, like I, it like my mood, my energy, everything goes away. Um, it's, I'm like, I feel awful and I don't, you know, look my best. I don't feel my best, whatever. So just been so nice doing that so if you have any of those stomach problems or you have any questions and stuff for me too about that stuff because i know a lot of people go through that um let me know because i can make a video on it about here answer your question or tiktok whatever so um but i'm gonna make my tuna salad now so i'm gonna show you with you guys my recipe i made it on my tiktok so my tiktok or my the recipe is on my tiktok but i'm gonna make it with you guys right now so we can have some dinner because it's, it's like late right it's six o'clock well it's like dinner time okay so let's, let's make some dinner okay different camera angle but this literally is so freaking easy to make and it's literally delicious and i'm not like a huge tuna fan necessarily but it's like good and dude this is like skinny too like what is the 21 grams of protein 100 calories that's crazy. So it's literally like, it's so good in that aspect too. Um, but I'm going to open up my tuna and just drain all the water. You want to make sure you drain like all the water out so it's not like watery. So I'm going to go like do that. But I chopped up my uh, green apple, like really small, like really finely chopped. Um, and that's the first step. And then I'm going to drain this. Hold on. I'll come back. Okay. So here's my tuna. Just don't look at it. it. It looks gross. It's not worth looking at. But I forgot about this. I should have done this with the apple, but I'm cutting up just a little shallot, which I did learn because I Googled, because it said that you should put a shallot in it. And I was like, what's the difference between a shallot and like a red onion, right? But apparently the shallot has a little bit more of a sweeter taste. So I'm using that and I only use like this much because onions are like high FODMAP. So they can irritate my stomach, but if it's this much and I eat it in like three servings, you know, like I'm eating a third of this every time, it's not gonna hurt my stomach that much. So I'm just cutting this up as well, really finely. 
and I'm gonna put that in there. My little shallot is in there. And then the next thing are these, these are uh, sweetened dried cranberries. You can get the unsweetened, I guess. I don't really know if I haven't tried the unsweetened. This is all I had at the store, but I'm gonna put, this container lasts three servings. So I'm just gonna put the rest in there because it's the third time I've made this with these. And then almost done, now kind of like the dressing portion. Okay, so, so my camera cut off because my phone has no storage. Uh, the rest of the dressing, it was just half of a lemon. Um, and then like some black pepper and mayo. That's all I added to it. And then that's the end of the recipe. Sorry that my phone cut off. Uh, YouTube queen. Okay, I think my phone cut my, off my last clip because I don't have any storage on my phone, but this is the final result. It literally looks delicious. Let's try. Let's try. Mm. It's so I am appalled. Literally, my phone cut off again when I was giving my review. Basically, I was saying that it's very, it's like creamy, it's crispy, it's crunchy, it's sweet. The cranberries add that like squishy texture. And that's how I would describe it. And it was delicious. But um, make sure you like uh, put it in the fridge before you eat it because it obviously doesn't taste that good like warm, you know? So like chill it first. But who knows what else is set up. Probably some really funny shit. And now it got cut off and lost forever. And now you guys will never see it. It's kind of like the Library of Alexandria, how it like burned down. It's like actually sad. Like how different would our lives be if the Library of Alexandria didn't burn down? Why am I comparing my tuna salad recipe video to the Library of Alexandria right now? I am delusional. Hey you guys, I'm literally sitting here like right now editing this and somehow I talked about Whole Foods and tuna salad for 22 minutes. So I'm gonna cut the vlog, vlog? What's this vlog? A video? I'm gonna cut the video off here since I think I talked enough, but hopefully I'll film tomorrow too. I probably will. And even maybe Monday, three day weekend, hey. So I think I'm gonna upload this like literally right now. Honestly, being on TikTok has helped me so much with like editing stuff out. Cause like on TikTok it's so hard to edit, but like when I would make YouTube videos, I could just edit everything out if I needed to edit it out. But on TikTok it's annoying to edit. So like I literally have like nothing to edit in this. Which is so nice. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys like this. And if you're from TikTok, subscribe over here. And if you're not from TikTok, go follow my TikTok. Ah Thank you guys for watching. Okay, bye. Hagadim, my humble queens.